when it comes to the Z height, nothing is more important because if you mess this up, that is a crash for sure. And that'll take out this spindle. So when we set the Z offsets, we have to be absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna use this block to actually get those Z offsets. The block is on the table and the table is always in the same place. It never moves. A vise can move, material can move, there can be different heights, but the table is an absolute. It's not gonna move. One thing that we know, home position on Z is up, and that's machine home. The machine always knows where Z zero is for machine zero. And then as we put in different parts at different heights, we have to tell the machine where that surface is in space. And we simply do that by dropping the spindle down and copying a number, which will be a negative number over here on machine zero. Just like I zeroed X and Y, I'm gonna actually zero the Z and bring the black and the red dials to zero. So we need to figure out the distance from this surface to the top surface over here for G54. For this particular machine, I'm gonna go into position and then I'm gonna hit Z origin and then execute. Now we've zeroed out our relative block and you can see the numbers changing and that five inches is exactly from the top surface of my one, two, three block. And boom, there you go. We are zeroed off of the top surface of this part. So when I look under Z under relative, I see four inches, 330 thousandths, seven tenths. That is the exact amount that the top surface of G54 is above my one, two, three block. This distance right here, this is what I need in my Z. So I'm simply gonna go 4.329, I'm gonna hit input. And now I have that positive number right here. Now I'm gonna duplicate that entire process for G55. I'm gonna go back to position. Now I'll hit Z, I'm at zero, go back up. And now that is zero off of this top surface. Now, one of the reasons that what I'm showing you is so valuable is because raw stock changes. Raw stock, like bar stock, it's actually bowed. So the outside will be a few thousandths higher than the inside. So if you keep zeroing off the same surface, like zeroing tools off, you're never gonna be perfect to the other tools, okay? Like if you break an end mill mid cycle and you change it and you go back and the surface has changed, that can cause problems and then you have to calculate it. But in relationship to the other tools, it's not gonna be perfect. But what I'm gonna show you is going to ensure that your Z zeros for all your tools, your fixtures are perfect every single time. All right, so we're 632.8 on G55. That's the difference from the one, two, three block to the top of the material. So I'm gonna go into my offsets and then I'm gonna drop down to 55 and then I'm simply gonna enter that number right there. So 0.632. Eight, enter. Now it's time for the tools. So we're gonna raise this bad boy up. Now I got the core five and the Hydro Force holder. I'm gonna pop this guy in. Usually I use a Joe block or something else, but we'll just use the one, two, three block. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure and I'm gonna raise it in tenths. And there we go, I'm gonna drop it down. It doesn't go, put a little bit of pressure. And there we go, it is zeroed perfectly to that one, two, three block. I'm gonna come up here. I'm in the tool height offsets. And a lot of times we go input C. But because there's so many of you out there working on different machines, everything I'm doing, I'm gonna keep looking at the machine zero. So instead of hitting this guy, I'm simply going to enter this number, negative 16.711. So I'm gonna enter it in, negative 16.711. 7 -11. Now remember, when dealing with height offsets, you guys always have to double check yourselves and make sure that the number is absolutely perfect. So now let me just kind of recap what I did. I used the Heimer 3D sensor. I got my X and Y for G54. I got my X and Y for G55. 
Then I took the Heimer sensor and I got my zero off the one, two, three block. Then I captured the distance from the top of the surface of the one, two, three block to G54 top of part. Then I repeated the process for G55. And now in Z, the difference on both is simply the number in my fixture offset. So from here on out, if I have five tools, I have 10 tools, I always zero my tools throughout the entire process, day after day, until the day that I might get a probe and do it all automatically. When you guys are working in a job shop, sometimes you might have six different parts. You might have op A, op B, op C, op D, all set on the table and be utilizing the same tools or different tools but it doesn't even matter because if you do everything from a one, two, three block, you're gonna be absolutely perfect. Now, a word of caution. If you're staggering your heights and you have multiple fixtures, make sure when you're running your program, at the end of the program, make sure you have a good lift up in Z before you move over because if you have a barrier in the way, you can crash that machine, all right? So make sure that you're lifting up, getting over, make sure you double check everything. The first time you run it, run it slow. So no matter if you're on a Tormach, a Haas, a Doosan, whatever machine you're on, you can use this style right here and your parts will always be perfect. Boom.